You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and this is episode number 455. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it every single time. Yes, we definitely do. We also appreciate the continued support from Videoblocks and Audioblocks.com. You guys know Videoblocks is a subscription-based website where you can get B-roll, segue footage, transitions, and just pretty much stock footage of any place, anywhere, for one low price a year. But you can also do the same thing for stock Music. So if you go to audioblocks.com, it's also a subscription based site for copyright free music, sound effects, everything you need, even loops if you need that as well. Yep. But this one offer is really special for listeners of Drone You. That's you. If you go to videoblocks.com forward slash drone 2016, you can get audioblocks and videoblocks for $100 off. You need to go videoblocks.com forward slash drone 2016. Yeah, great deal. Only $149 for the entire year for all of that content. It really is Take a Take advantage deal. of it. Yeah. I mean, it, I will be. So Yeah, I, I mean, really, it's you use it, literally, you could pay that and use it a couple of times and you would have gotten all the value you need to make it worth it. You know what I'm going to do right now? I'm going to go to this site, videoblocks.com forward slash drone 2016. And I'm going to sign us up because I'm going to pick out some music that will actually be the outro when we credit everyone. Nice. So I think that's a great idea. Using it. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Let's do it. Put our money where our mouth is. Definitely. Let's hear today's question, Rob. Right on. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, depending on when you decide to play this uh, message. My name is Alexander Paris. I'm with Dragonfly Drones Production. And my question to you guys is that how would you go by renting your equipment, um, especially the Inspire One Pro or the Phantom Pro? How would you go by renting it out? Because I have plenty of contractors that want to rent out my equipment and I do not know exactly how I should price it or should there be a contract involved. So that's my question to you guys. Keep up the good work. I love you guys. I listen to all your podcasts. I'm about to become part of the drone nation. So yes. Alexander, awesome question. We love you too. Thank you for sending your question in. We really appreciate it. It's a good Alexander one. Alexander the Great. Yeah, Alexander Paris the Great. I am surprised, actually, I guess, that we've not... I'm, I've never heard this question. I, it's interesting. I'm a little hesitant on this question, but you are excited as a little giddy five-year-old on Christmas <laughs> morning, aren't you? Well, one of the reasons I'm excited is because Alexander's obviously thinking about this. Others are probably thinking about this. We say that all the time. If you have a question, others are probably thinking the same thing. And I, I'm just concerned because I think there's a lot more to this than people might understand or realize. Oh, man. how do, My mind is going wild with questions right now. Like, how do you vet the people you rent it to? How do That's you know they're, leg one. they're legit? How do you know they have the flying experience? If they crash it, how do you know if it's their fault or your fault or the drone's fault? Chances are it wasn't your fault or the drone's fault 99% of the time. But, you know, is this really a viable deal? Because we looked online and there are a few places that are renting. Inspire One Pros. I'm not going to mention the name of the site. You can Google it and do your own research. Um, but it just brought us up the, the the question. You know, is this really financially viable? Yeah. What are the potential problems that could happen? Right. So luckily, like I said, Rob is super giddy right now. He can't wait to get into the numbers <laughs> of this and talk about you know how long would it really take to pay off the equipment to actually make a buck. You know, so let's just get right into it, Rob. Let's say I've got an Inspire One Pro and I bought a case, batteries, everything, iPad, and I'm in it five grand right now. I know that sounds crazy to some people, but yes, the Inspire One Pro has actually gone down that much in price. So mm. let's say I'm in it for five grand, right? Mm -hmm. Plenty of batteries, all that good stuff. Let's say I got five, six batteries. Let's say six batteries. So $1,200 of batteries. Well, this is something that's relatively new. So in terms of the question of what do you charge, let's just hit that right off the top. There's well, there's something called benchmarking, and that is where you literally just go out and figure out what other people are doing, right? And the more that you can find out what people are doing in your area, even better. 
but so this is like comping a house. Like when you're looking at, it really like is the same kind of philosophy. You're looking to buy a house. You want to know what other houses comparables are priced at your house. So that way you have comps, right? Exactly. Exactly. You're, you're comping it out. As Paul said, what we've found is that you're probably depending on the, the specifics of the drone that you're going to be renting out, you're going to be probably somewhere in the range of 75 to 150 bucks a day, a day. So let's just look at, say, 115. That's something that we played with. Actually, that's one of the the amounts that we got from a site for an Inspire One. So it's 115 X5 a day. X5 Pro, 115 a day, they plus charge, tax. Plus tax. Did they charge anything for insurance? There was nothing for insurance. And that's Are a really you, good question because it, as the owner, you're going to have to get insurance. So it says that on there you have to get insurance because I looked at renting an Alta 8 because you know we want an Alta 8 for mm -hmm. the gig in December. Um, and they have nine different options of insurance, five of which go through their house insurance company. Mm -hmm. And some of them were like a $5,000 deposit, like insane yeah. numbers. Yeah, so why yeah. not buy your own equipment at that point? Well, and again, that's just a deposit in the event that something happens. But if something does happen, then you just bought a broken drone. Yep. So... No, what I was saying is that as the person who owns the drone that is going to be renting it out, it's going to change the structure of your insurance situation, which is probably going to raise your insurance rates quite a bit. Um, just an Inspire with, say, $3 million liability with whole insurance, you're probably looking at 1500 a year, somewhere in that range, give or take. I understand that you might have gotten yours for less and you might have gotten yours for more. That's fine. Probably in the range of 1500 bucks. You've got to add that in. And by the way, that's going to be per drone. There are going to be blanket coverages that you can find from certain insurers, so you'd have to do your research. What you're hearing is there's a lot more that goes into this than you might think. I was telling Paul that a business partner of mine and myself were looking at a particular business model that we thought had a lot of potential. Short version is once we ran all the numbers, figured out how long it would take us to break even, and we really believe that this could be a successful business. We decided, you know what? It's just not worth it. There's too much minutia. There's too much time involved to get to the point we want to get to. And so we decided not to do it. And sometimes that's the best decision is saying no. All that said, maybe you have some contractors you mentioned that want to use your equipment and you know them well, you've seen them fly. That's a little bit different. So if you're just asking, okay, I want to rent to my buddies or I want to rent to some contractors that fly around the area that I'm used to and I've seen them. Yeah, then maybe you give it to them for 100 bucks a day, 125 bucks a day. Make sure the insurance is in place, whether it's yours or whether it's theirs. Make sure that's in place. You ask if you should have a contract. You should absolutely have a contract. I don't care who you're renting it to because the contract at least minimizes or mitigates against he said, she said, right? So there's some specifics as to what happens if and when. So that's really important. And as far as where to get those contracts, frankly, you can find them from people that are currently renting. Like Lens equipment. Rentals, yeah. Yeah, LensRentals.com is one that we found, right? Is that what it's called? Um, no, that was just Lens Rentals is a great company for renting cameras or lenses. Uh, they, I think they've got a really good system. And if someone were to really rent their equipment, I think they could learn a lot from lens rentals because right. they provide, you know, shipping, you know, there and back. So mm. sent to you and return. They have a special box that everything goes into instructions, a copy of your contract, what's in the box. Like it's a really solid system. Yeah. But again, I hear you talking about this and I'm having daydream after daydream after daydream nightmare of <laughs> all the bad things that can happen because, yeah. you know, even even if someone, you know, dips the drone into a, a tumbleweed bush and gets, you know, dirt in the motors and, you know, it, someone else gets that drone after that, after that's happened mm -hmm. and they're like, why are the motors making noise? And it causes, you know, a, a crash on their set right. and now you're liable. And it's just like, you know, for me, oh, Rob, for me, I've learned so much from you about business. I want recurring revenue. I yeah. want stuff that comes in all the time has low cogs, which renting out your equipment does not have low cogs. I don't think it does. I don't think I really it's don't. actually that profitable at all. Um, and it's so much work for very little amount of money. It's one of those situations where in order for it to be profitable, you're going to have to be doing it at a very high volume. And that to do at a very high volume is a very capital intensive endeavor yes. when you're talking about renting out equipment. I mean, think about the rental car companies as a uh, 
the best analogy that I can come up with or comparison that I can come up with right quickly here. Imagine the capital intensive requirements that they deal with. I yeah. mean, obviously they're buying cars. And frankly, if you're going to be buying Inspire Ones, that's the equivalent of a used car. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's just is what it is. And again, Alexander, you may not be thinking about starting a whole rental business, uh, but so we're kind of wanting to cover this from, you know, just going to rent to my buddies to, if you're thinking along those lines, just really think through, I mean, now you're talking about a business plan and, and it's a lot of work pro formas and, and really thinking through what it's going to cost you to do something like that, because I can guarantee you there are some hidden costs that you want to make sure you uncover. Yeah, totally. So couldn't agree. I honestly, I just, my heart quivers thinking about renting out gear because so many people don't know how to use it properly. I mean, even I when that's I, the biggest thing. I mean, even when I, for example, just a few weeks ago, we were on set and I'm telling this guy who's a seasoned, quote unquote, seasoned professional drone pilot. And I said, mm -hmm. you know, you may want to take off and land when your drone has the same orientation that you do. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm good. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm good takes off, almost hits the talent, breaks the drone. It was Brian's drone, by the way. Oof. Um, poor guy. Ouch. Um, I was like, get rid of those props. I was like, just throw them in the trash. Don't even put them back on, just throw them in the trash. And then the other guy is like, if you don't listen to Paul when he takes off, like, you can't fly anymore. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I mean, you got a coach here telling you what to do. <laughs> do it. I just found it really funny because, you know, everyone says that they know, but you really have no idea how much experience they really have. No, and, and there literally is not any way to vet them. I mean, they can show you videos. Well, if we're going to be really cynical and skeptical, was that there? Did they actually fly for that video would be that question. Yeah. And then you say, well, they can show me that they got a 107. Okay, well, they can study and take a test. That's great. That doesn't mean they can fly. So there's just, that would be the biggest question for me is how can I be sure this person can fly this thing? Yeah, no, I, and, and I, I just would have a really hard time getting comfortable with answering that question. Well, I will say this, there's something that we've got up our sleeves here at drone you that I'm really excited about and I'm hoping it happens next year. And it's, we have nothing to do with the spaceport drone summit. I just want to put that out there. We backed out a long time ago, um, for a multitude of reasons. Um, but one thing we do want to do is we are going to set up an experience training where uh, there are going to be awards for your flying skills, for your ability to drop objects, for your ability to search and rescue, for your ability to map, for your ability to fly through an obstacle course in 20 seconds. Um, I, you know, I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it's something that, you know, all of our instructors are like, we've got to do this. Yeah. We've got to give out some awards and then people can, you know, have something to say like, look, you know. I went to the, I went to this drone you experience training and, you know, it was a bunch of different obstacle courses. I ended up winning this and winning that. And, you know, I think we can have a lot of fun with it. So yeah, absolutely. And out of that can come various certifications, et cetera, that we can give people True. that will be meaningful. We hope. True. And that would be one way to vet people. But uh, there's not a lot of that out there right now, if at all. Um, so there isn't. There really, that would be a concern. There really isn't. So anyway, guys, I think this is a great question. Thank you for asking it. If you have a question, go to askadroneu.com. Upload that question right away. If you've heard these podcasts and you're like, man, I really, really just want to learn how to fly well, you can do that on the drone you site as a member if you go into community dashboard and search advanced aerial videography and get some cinematic moves in that so very excited for that saw that yesterday it's just about ready oh yeah it's there it's there it's gonna be there it is gonna be there i'm taking time out of my afternoon to make sure it's gonna be there it's gonna be there that's right and if you're still needing help preparing for the 107 test and we really really sincerely hope that all of you that are flying particularly commercially will go and take your 107 test Go to in, in the membership, and we've got great materials in there for you as well. Definitely, guys. That's going to do it for us today. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to see you at one of the local trainings. Talk to you later. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Special thanks always goes out to our producer, Ilker, our editor, Kirill. Special thanks to Rob and Tim in the background. We call them the Bald Headed Bureau. And guys, special thanks to you for listening, sharing, and writing those reviews. I really appreciate it. My name is Paul. Thank you, guys.